All right, so you would like to know how to supplement a curved cup like the wine sub cup. So with the curved cups, if you're talking about the bottom type things, the way to do that is you are going to have to be really creative first with your transfer. So if you're trying to get it all the way around the curve, you are going to have to know how to cut and bend your paper so it goes on there perfectly. And then you got to get the heat to it. In order to do that, you are going to have to use something like shrink wrap or a 3D vacuum press that has a silicone sleeve that goes up and around it. However, I've learned that usually people just go down to the very bottoms of it and then stop. Um, one second, let me grab a cup and show you. All right, this is a sub tumbler. It is a blue to green, so it's one of our glow ones. Um, so you could press the whole thing. Usually people would just press all the way around it. I do know when I do cups that are white, I sometimes like do a glitter ombre effect. So it looks like, you know, it's supposed to be blink at the bottom. However, doo -doo, you should be able to get your image to about right here with just the press. Now, if you're trying to go that long, you will have to find a design that is seamless, not seamless, a design that works, that has spaces so you could cut and fold the paper around it and then put it in a oven with shrink wrap or a 3D press. I can't really give advice on using an oven because every time I use the oven, I call it on fire. So I've always used a 3D vacuum press where they have a silicone sleeve or you can use heat press, but you can buy silicone sleeves and it just sucks all the air and tightens it around it. But with it curving in the way paper is, there's no way to just take a transfer and it, you know, go on there without bubbling up like that. So you would have to find a design, maybe like glitters, stuff like that, and cut it around. I hope that makes sense. Like the curved things are hard, especially with drinkware.